Okay, leading straight on, we're going to start building our geometry here. First thing I'm going to do is to make sure everything is on the ground plane. So I'll grab my object and I'll take off this snap. And I'm going to pull this up so that the bottom line does actually sit as close as possible to the ground plane. There we go. Yep, that's all right. And then in this view, I'm going to move it along a little bit like that. So it's just pretty much centered. So that's really going to help us an awful lot. And then I'm going to move back to my view here. Now, something that I like to do is I like to change in my colors so everything comes in as being black. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to create a little box here. OK, we'll view that in our um, in our shaded view, in our shaded mode rather. Then what I'm going to do is I'll open up my materials editor by pressing M and I'll apply a gray material to it, which won't seem like much, but when you actually see it, the gray with the, the black outline, it looks quite nice. It makes things quite easy to work with. So from my parametric shapes, I'm going to make a length segment of one. And then I'm going to right click and convert that to an edit polygon. From what is my left view, I'll now come in and I'll start working with vertices only. And I'll select all of these and I will drag them off to the edge of the building. So the edge of that building is about there. And then the edge of this building is, I would say, about here. And I'm going to pull that up to there. Pull that down. Oh, you know what? Tut, tut, silly me. There we go. That's the edge I'm looking for in actual fact. This bit can stick out. Can it? Yes, it can. And that's about right. That actually needs to come down to there. And that can come along to here. Okie dokie. So, looking in my front view now. We can see that these vertices need to come along to about there. Let me see, is it there? Yeah, it's actually about there, isn't it? Let's just get in close. I'd say about there. Now, bear in mind, we're not making uh, we're not making sort of an engineering drawing here. We're making marketing material. Okay, so anyone who says this has got to be absolutely dead onto the millimeter is quite frankly suffering from some form of autism. Um, right, there we go. There's your basic mass of the building. Okay, we need a few more details in here. They are going to come from selecting this edge here and this edge here. And then I'm going to connect them. And I'll take that connected edge and I'll rather lazily drag it up to about there. Let's see. Yeah, that's about right. Then I'll take that polygon face and I'll extrude it out. It doesn't have to be by much because I can pull it the rest of the way. Then I'll take this edge and I'll bring it down. There you go, that's added my detail in there. Can worry about the rest of that later. Again, basic mass. We're not going to bother doing the back because we don't have to. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to need to do is to the front of the building. Now, one thing I will say is that this is going to get in the way, this back detail. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hide selection. So that's going to make my life a whole lot easier. And I'll just create another box here at the front. And I'm going to do that. So again, I'll need to open up my materials editor and assign and from my front view, you notice I'm using my keyboard shortcuts there to great effect. I will convert that to an edit polygon and I'll take my edges and I'll line up first of all this edge. 
And then secondly, this edge. Take all of these and pull them down to about that level. That's convenient about there. I'll take that one and I'll pop it up about here. And that can line up with it. There we go. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to take the first edge and move that object back to about there. Again, using keyboard shortcuts to move around the interface, that's the Alt W. And I'll use my vertices here and I'll just pull that back. So you can see already we're getting a really good idea of what the building's going to look like. Yep. Again, on top of that, I am going to need to create another box here. And that's not going to have any width segments. We'll convert that to an edit poly. And I'll apply another material onto there. Again, from my front view, I will use vertices to just line up my edges. So I'll line up an edge there. And I'll line up an edge there. Now bear in mind, these are the back face edges. Okay. And I'm only making a rough outline here. It's a bit like doing a sketch, really. Ignore back face culling, select that face. Press F2 and scale it in. There we go. I'll also take this face here. And I'll extrude that off by a little bit. Okay. That's only so that I'm not shooting myself in the foot when what I want to do is move this all the way back there you see that it always comes out a little way always comes out a little way and I'd rather it did that to be honest with you I'd rather have that little bit of a return on here if you're really that fussy about it select the edge go for loop and just pull that back me I'm happy with the way that it was